salutations, Ms. Mac Mafia. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Check it. I got a new chair. Is it a sick? It's a secret labs chair. Yes, it cost me a pretty penny, okay? We don't talk about my bank account right now. <laughs> but in any case, today I reckon we are going to be knee deep in zombie waste, fear, confusion, and admittedly a little tiny bit of attraction because again, this is Leon. S. Kennedy we're talking about, okay? Would this be a Ms. Mac playthrough if Ms. Mac was not thirsting over Leon Kennedy? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Would I have been much better if it was Claire? The answer is no, okay? Because she is also a very, very, very beautiful individual. So definitely not. Okay, so let's not waste another second and jump straight into Resident Evil 2. Oh, Marvin. Marvin, Marvin, Marvin. All right, so, tab to open the inventory up. The lion is a lion, the branch, and the eagle thing. If my memory serves me correctly. Okay, okay, lion, branch, eagle. Sick! Look at that. Not even, not even 10 seconds in, and we've already got an entire medallion. Aren't you guys proud of me? Look, not even, not even three whole minutes into this video. And we've collected a medallion. Oh, that so good. There we go. Oh! Elliot was right. Yeah, but the passage isn't open yet. Okay, hey Marvin, you, you do your thing, okay? You, you moan in pain over there, I guess. Is there like a chest around here or something? I can, oh, oh, there is! <gasps> Oh, this feels very Resident Evil 1, although that would make sense given that this is, you know, the, the second game in, in the franchise, but uh, <laughs> I digress. Leon has so little inventory space, though. Oh, you know what we can do? Yes! Use those resources. I mean, we could have done that with the key, but... This is not how I imagined my first day. <laughs> All right, first wing of RPD. I mean, I guess technically that was the first wing, but it's, I don't know. I don't know. Don't get technical with me, okay? Oh, wooden board. I needed that. I vaguely remember being able to put the wooden boards up on the windows, if memory serves. Can we combine it? Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, that's fine. We're just walking around with some sweet Mary Jane, I guess. By Mary Jane, that I mean I've named the plant Mary Jane. Okay, don't take it any other way. You do. Okay, I promise. That's what I meant. Uh, <laughs> you guys ready? I'm not. Neither is the game, apparently. Here we go. Yippee! You think after how many hours of DVD I've spent running? Hello. Oh, the way the vibe immediately changed. Nope. Okay, just chilling. Okay, friend. Just hanging out. <laughs> but this is so funny. I'm terrified. <laughs> That's what the board is for. Yeah! She's gonna be locked up tighter than Fort Knox, baby. What is Fort Knox, by the way? I've always heard that thrown around, but I've never actually bothered to look up what it is. Is it like an American landmark, or do I sound really silly when I say that? Let's get down and stay down! You lost! Just take it! Dude, you, you lost! God, some people are just over dramatic. They just don't know what to give. Unbelievable audacity. We need to find more of those wooden boards though, that's for sure. Okay. 
Supposing that this was some sort of rendezvous? I don't know. I'm, I'm making shit up out of my ass because I'm scared. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, my brain's just trying to make sense of a terrible situation, okay? This. Record of- Oh, sweet! September 25th. We're turning the station into a temporary shelter due to massive sudden outbreak. All police personnel have been instructed to make safety of the citizens their top priority as we try to accommodate as many of them as possible. One of the refugees attacked us in the middle of the night, resulting in the death of one officer and injuring three others. The person in question was quickly restrained. We believe this was simply a case of someone snapping under their intense stress. September 26. A mob attacked the station today, resulting in a number of casualties. A few survivors were able to make it safely behind the emergency shutters. But surrounded as we are, it'll be hard for any of us to escape this place. We're not sure if we can fix any of the comm equipment, so we remain cut off from the outside world. There was another clash on the west side of the station at about 1pm. 12 people died and there's only a handful of survivors left. Everything is falling to disarray in here. David Ford. Alright, so somebody got bitten and got a bit selfish and was like, yeah, I'm going to stay around all these people. That's a great idea. What's this? Oh, nice. Search completed. Oh, nice. So it's actually going to show us. Ah, oh, you see, this was. Oh, nice. It's actually such a nice setup. Look at, I'm so excited about a map. <laughs> but yeah, this was my favorite feature of Resident Evil 1. Because I like to know what I can tick off and what I can't. So it's good to know that everything so far is ticked off. It's absolutely fabulous, darling. All right. He thinks the game wants me to walk up here. Me here's a zombie on the other side. Oh my god, I'm so tired of zombies, man. Oh god, he's gonna take a couple of bullets, I reckon. That's how zombie logic works. Is the, the bigger they are, the more bullets they take. We don't take- We don't take chances here. On the Miss Back channel, we don't take chances, okay? We don't- we don't- we don't go sniffing around dead bodies, okay? We shoot them! We make sure they're dead bodies. Oh, there's so many of them and they take so many bullets! Alright, someone's just gotten up out there. Got powder. What do I need? Oh, to make ammo? Uh-oh. Gunpowder, huh? That's good. That fills me with confidence. Left side. More bullets. How we're making this gunpowder out of our ass, I don't know. Okay, I'm not a gun expert. I'm not a demolitions expert. Yes. Hello? Hello? Operations report. Oh, so this is two days after the um after the they brought everyone in and people started killing each other. It's down to just me and three others. No weapons, no ammo, and too many skirmishes have drained us mentally and physically. We're not gonna make it. Officer Phillips once suggested we escape through the sewers. Apparently there's a secret tunnel under this place left over from its museum days. I brushed off her idea before, but now it's not sounding all that bad. Yeah, there's no proof there even was a tunnel or that the sewers aren't infested with zombies, but I don't want to sit here and wait to die either. It's a long shot, but I'm going to try and make what I can about that tunnel. Oh, oh, okay, so this is the guy that got crushed by the door. That guy, you remember that guy? I made it my thumbnail last time, I would hope you remember that guy. What the? Uh-oh, um. Oh, no! Rookie's first assignment. Oh, this is for me! Leon S. Kennedy, we're putting you on a very special case for your first assignment. Your mission is to unlock your desk. The key to your success is in the initials of our first names. Input the letter in order of our desks. There are two locks, one on each side of your desk. Make sure you get them both. Basically, your first task is to remember your fellow officers' names. But you figured out that much, right? Good luck, Leon. By the way, it might take a little work to get Scott to give you a straight answer. Lieutenant Browner. Hold in the corner and drops of blood. Be glad you're not here, rookie. 
Alright, time to use the good old run method. <laughs> oh no! Oh, they're on either side! Get him! Oh god damn it. Oh god damn it. Okay, that room is a no go until we can get our hands on some more. Oh! Far out! Something, anything, anything at all. Oh no, this is bad. I ran out of bullets so fast. What am I supposed to do? If I, in my defense, before you guys go, well, you shouldn't have been shooting bodies before they, they get up to attack you. He's back. That was just stupid. In my defense, they would have gotten up as I walked past them anyway. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to loop these bitches. Far out. Um. The good thing about this is we can loop this way. Or maybe he's just stupid enough that he'll take care of himself. Right, he's gonna come this way. I'm gonna go that way. Not before grabbing this. It appears that the keypad to the locker's terminal is missing a few keys. I suggest that the person responsible for this mess find some spare keys and fix this right now. You know who you are, you bastard. Who else would fuck up this badly? Oh. Someone's a bit angry. Alright, down the hall we go. Ah, uh, you're not getting in over my dead body. Okay, that takes us upstairs. Oh, what is this room? A little chesty chest. Oh, cute! And the lights work in here and everything ain't this damn special. We gotta unlock those desks. That's our first lead, is those desks. Problem is, those desks are guarded by a kajillion zombies. So... Go for now. Oh. <laughs> Sucks to suck. Oh. Far out. I'm about to eat shit. Please give me something. What? But I said something. I didn't mean another zombie. Oh god, that lady's gonna get up and it's gonna be. Yep, that person's up there. God, this place is infested! Oh. He's about to get up. That guy's about to come at me. This is good. This is going great. I've got five bullets. Great. You gotta make each one count. Alright, dodge that guy. Oh my god, where? Go where though? Alright, 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 we gotta do this. So, Neil, NC, EE, DF, MB, RA, RP. Okay, um. So on this side we have N, um, E, and N D. <clears throat> on this side we had R. One of these has R. R. No, I'm pretty sure Marvin was in the middle. M. Or oh, maybe he was at the end. Alright, M. Ah, uh, no. Okay, we're gonna guess it. Yes. We got it. what? Oh, this is for my. Actually, never mind. I take it back. Thank you. Is that it? Zombo. Just another damn code. God, so many damn codes everywhere. Lord. 
okay? Because this was going nowhere. <laughs> After I solved that, that desk puzzle, I started getting a bit worried. Oh, this place is... What in the... What was that? Did you see the way that thing scaled the building? What the hell was that? Oh, holy Jesus. Did you see how much gunpowder that made? Oh my God. All right, damn. Oh. Shoot that in case he falls on me. Okay, I feel like that was a valid reason to be concerned. Oh my god, we're literally swimming in it now. Okay, good, because I panicked a little bit. Get the pouch. Oh! Oh, we can make more inventory space. Damn those corporate assholes. They cut me off after all I've done for them. But if that's how it's going to be, so be it. I'm gonna have a little fun of my own as the world goes to shit. I've boarded up all those filthy pigs in a steel pen and set some C4. All I gotta do is detonate it and say, sayonara suckers. But it's no fun if it's over too soon. So maybe I'll give that one raving loon something to really squeal about. Yeah, maybe I'll give him a little toy and tell him, kill the guy next to you and I'll spare the others. I wonder what he'll do. You yell about justice and pride, but how many times did you go against me, your own superior? Yeah, you're such a good cop. So good you had to die. Man, this is fun. I, this is our police force! <gasps> She's got the thing. Oh gosh, this is our police force. It sounds like it, someone who had something against Marvin, I'm guessing. Because Marvin's the only superior officer we've been told about. Now where's the office? And then I think this key I picked up opens this one. Yes, it does. Oh, there you are. Come here, take a look. Yes, I knew she'd make it. Oh, you know her? Yeah. Name's Claire. I came into town with her. You can get to that courtyard. Through the second floor. East side. <laughs> I'm on it. Mm. Thanks, Lieutenant. Oh, Marvin. I'm surprised you made it this far. I love you, Marvin, but you're gone. You're for heaven now. <laughs> you belong to the angels now. But I like him. I like that he's our mission controller. Kind of. Alright, let's go. Let's go see Claire. Let's go see how she's doing. And let's wrap things up, shall we? Oh. Oh! You know what? Not my monkeys, not my circus. Claire! I'll be right there. Okay. Oh. Yep, that was the nail on the coffin. <laughs> it's so nice to see you. How are you doing? That helicopter just came out yeah. of nowhere. I'm in one piece. I'm guessing okay. you don't have a key in one of those fancy pockets? Uh, unfortunately, no. Mm. But how are you doing? You know... Just surviving. That's good. Yeah. Any luck with your brother? No, not yet. Claire, don't lose hope. I'm sure we're gonna find him. I hope it wasn't him in that helicopter. Damn. You know what that means? Yeah. Dinner time. Claire, I think you should go. Don't worry about me, Leon. You take care of yourself. You need to go now. 
Okay. Let's get through this. Both of us. Uh, oh. Marvin, I've got a situation here. I'm surrounded by zombies. Marvin, do you copy? Marvin! Uh oh. Damn it. Marvin is, um. Preoccupied with with meeting the Grim Reaper. <laughs> All right. We're just gonna go straight back to the save point. Straight back to the save point, okay? That's the goal, ladies and gentlemen. Back to the save point. No! Is he sleeping? Still alive. Oh god. Okay. I mean, not good for him. I'm sure he probably wants to be dead by this point, but good for me. Because <laughs> it means I don't... We should kill him. Like, I know that's really dark, but we should definitely kill him before we have to kill him. I think that's the best way to go. Maybe, possibly, or maybe. Is that it unethical for me to say? I don't know. <laughs> we are getting into the nitty gritty of what makes Resident Evil tick. I remember the first game being a lot of me going on off camera and just collecting green herbs so I could tick off rooms and get them off my list. But yes, I, and also, am I sensing a little bit of chemistry between Leon and Claire? Because I didn't see that with Jill and Chris. Like I didn't feel that, but with them, I don't know. I'm just like the way he smiles, the way he looks at her. I wish he'd look at me. <laughs> but in any case, thank you so much for joining me for today's video. If you guys like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. It truly means the world to me. It lets me know you like the content, so it's a win-win situation. At the time of recording this, I'm only four subscribers away from 400. So yes, if you can subscribe, it would most definitely mean the world to me. If you want to see more of my Resident Evil 2 series, please be sure to check out my description down below. Down there, you'll find a link to a playlist that has all of my Resident Evil 2 videos, both past and future. Down there as well, you'll find a link to a bunch of my socials. So if you're interested in getting to see a little bit more of me, please be sure to check those out if you want to, of course. The moral of today's story is if you are ever in a zombie apocalypse and someone is infected, that's it. Game over. Goodbye. Adios. Aloha. Okay? End them. Okay, because this is how situations like this happen, okay? People get bitten and they get a bit selfish and they go, no, it can possibly be me. I, I'll never turn into a zombie ever. And then they do and then everyone dies, okay? So if someone is infected, get rid of them. Although at the time they probably didn't even know what was even going on, but I digress. <laughs> In any case, I love you all so very, very, very much. Please be sure to stay cozy and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye. Thank you so much to this month's top patrons. It's Halsey and Maya's so cool.